What's up guys, it's Robson Hayashida here and today we're gonna take a look at the trades that I took last week. So I have here a very interesting trade. It gave me uh, 18 pips of, uh, of profit. And this is a very interesting trade. I was basically looking at two uh, different time frames. So I went to M15 and I spotted an opportunity and then I used M1 to confirm the entry for the trade. Let's take a look at what I wrote here. So I said that for this trade I ended up, once again, uh, let me say that I ended up making 18 pips of profit. And I saw M15 very strong support on the 200 EMA with many candles and notable volume. I'm gonna check it out later to see what it is. And I changed to M1, spotted an entry, opportunity came with the big green candle that broke the whole number level, 111.000 with notable volume. So let's take a look at M15. So what happens here is that on M15, uh, you guys can see the trade. So it's an uptrend that you can see here, right? So you have an uptrend. So you have the trade goes up and down, then moves up, and then there is a level of consolidation here. Then makes another push up, breaking the previous high, which was here, and makes a new high, which is here. After that, it goes back to the 200 in May, and also back to the Dragon. It makes another push up, and I closed my trade here. I open my trade here. Uh, okay, so if you are new to PVSRA, I recommend you watch my previous uh, videos first. Go back to my past videos and look at uh, the definition of PVSRA. So once you understand PVSRA, you can come back to this video. So in this video, what you can spot here is huge resistance. Uh, no resistance, I would say support. So there is a support happening here. And this support is the same as the 200 EMA. So I have this yellow line, which is the 200 EMA. And I see that this proves to be a strong support. Why? Because I have very big uh, volume. So you can see the volume, the candles that show the volume here. They're big and they're colored. That's why According to PVSRA, I know that I have huge volume because PVSRA, PVSRA colors the candles for me. So I know that here we have notable volume. And this notable volume is expressed here with the candles that failed to break the 200 EMA downwards. So I know that this is an uptrend because I spotted on M15. Uh, why did I enter exactly here? So in order for you to know that I entered here, we are going back to M1. And on M1, well, this is exactly, it's the same trade. It's just that we are changing the time frame to M1. So on M1, I see that we made a new high, all right? When you see the, the new high here, this high broke the previous high. The previous high was this one. So we have the previous high here, and I have a series of uh, candles with notable volume that helped uh, the trade to break the previous high. So the important thing to notice here is that I have a break of the previous high exactly at this level that happened here. But at, with this level, I also have notable volume and I have this green candle, not only one, but I have a series of one, two, three, four candles with notable volume. Three of them are green, one is blue. So once you spot this, you wait for a retracement. So I made a new high that ended here, and I waited for a retracement back to the key level. In this case, the key level is the 111.000. So it's a home number in PVSRA. And I entered exactly here. Why did I close my trade here? Because this is the RDH, is the range daily high. And the range daily high, I can see 
it's very clear on the M15. Now I changed my time frame back to M15. It's very clear that here I have my RDH once again it's the range daily high. So it's the highest level that the trade got within that day, right? So this on that day it was the highest level that the trade got to. And I set my uh, target, my TP, my take profit, I set to this level. Why? Because a lot of times it shows that once it reaches the RDH, it bounces back down. So I set my target here. And this was uh, 18 pips of profit. Very nice trade. If you guys have any questions, please write to me on the comment section below. By the way, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you like my channel. Let's take a look at the next trade. So here I have a series of other trades by our uh, friends from the forum. And I have, oh, this is my last trade for the week. And here I have a series of candles that broke the previous low. And I have my previous low here at around, I forgot this level, but I have my previous low here. And I have this being broken with a series of uh, candles. And this candle that broke this level was a red candle, which was huge, was a big candle, with huge uh, notable volume. So the volume was notable and was huge. You can see that this is even bigger than the previous uh, volume candle that was already big here. So this one broke the previous high uh, volume candle here. After that, I waited for a retracement. So uh, as you guys can see, always uh, wait for a retracement. So I waited for a retracement, entered here, got my five pips of profit, actually it was 5.2 pips of profit, and I closed my trade. This was the, a very typical entry for PVSRA. And you can see here that for the whole trade, it doesn't break the, the dragon. So it's always like a down trade. And it's a very beautiful down trade because it doesn't break the dragon uh, line, right? So we have the dragon line here and the, trades, uh, the, and the trade bounces back sometimes, bounces back but doesn't break the dragon. And that's very important. And also respecting the WGT, the 25 WGT that you can see as a dotted line. And it just broke a little bit here, but it was not a problem because, well, also it happened after I closed my trade. So it doesn't, it's not even related to my trade, but when I was trading, it never broke the 25 WGT, which is a very good indication as well. So if you guys have any questions, please write to me and I see you guys on my next video. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching and goodbye.